Ghostman, Strange, Bigfoot, or Sasquatch, Hercomini, Timber Giant, the cryptid giant humanoid, reported primarily from the Pacific Northwest of Canada and the United States, as well as much of the rest of North American continent. Most Bigfoot sightings reported from the Monterey Mount Forest, the temperate rainforest of the Pacific Northwest, in Northern California, Oregon, Washington, and Idaho, British Columbia, and Alberta, are less common sightings occurring well into Alaska. Generally, Bigfoot is used to refer to animal in the United States, and Sasquatch is used to refer to it in Canada. Bigfoot-like animals were reported from across North America have been given various names such as wood apes, North American apes, hairy bipeds, humanoids, seen in other countries or often referred to as Bigfoot. Notable examples of other American hairy humanoids, which may or may not be simply original Bigfoot populations, including the skunk ape, the Ohio grassman, and the Furuki Munster. Bigfoot is perhaps the most famous cryptid and is certainly one of the most documented and most regularly cited due to its fairly close proximity to well developed areas. Sasquatch is an anglization of the Hungarian word so cool you it I or Sisushu Kutai meaning timber giant, most used by, first used by J.W. Burns in the 1920s. According to other sources, Sasquatch is a combination of several different Native American, Native Canadian names, which Burns believed referred to the same creature. The name Bigfoot was first used in the Herbert Times, journalist, communist, Andrew Gazzelli, on the 5th of October, 1958, discovered a series of large tracks near Buff Creek <coughs> in Northern California. The tracks were discovered by Kurt Fletcher worker, Joey Crew, the fellow member at workers, apparently coined the term. Due to vast amount of alleged sightings, <coughs> it's easy to Build a picture of Bigfoot using recurring details culled from reliable sightings, described by eyewitnesses as a large ape like creature with a height ranging from six to nine feet, when mature and is stocky and bulky, with a large barrel chest. His head is said to be small and pointed, with no discernible neck or forehead. His eyes are small, dark, and round and stare forwards. His sloping forehead his face is described as having a very heavy brown ridge, upon which is a continuous uncurled fringe of hair. The face is flat and usually said to be dark, but in several young individuals are described as being, having lighter faces. The nose is broad and flat, and the mouth is wide. Bigfoot was always reported as to be covered in shaggy yet relatively short hair. No distinction between body and head hair. According to some big researchers, younger individuals are dark, have darker hair. Uh, adults with reddish brown and elderly individuals may have silvery hair. However, others state that correlation, coloration mean, seems to have no connection with age. A number of studies describe the animals having a strong, putrid odour, which Robert Pop- Patterson compared to a dog rolling in bed. Manure. Bigfoot seems to be primarily nocturnal, is usually solitary, although a number of sightings of family groups have been recorded. It's not afraid of walking through water, may even use waterways as travel paths. His maximum running speed has been estimated as possibly 35 to 40 miles per hour. It could be inactive in cold weather. It is believed Bigfoot does not have a language as we would understand it, but it reported to have several calls, including high-pitched whistles, screams, and howls. A possible diet of Bigfoot 
been debated it for some time, as it has been argued that there uh, is not enough food in the Pacific Northwest to support a breeding population of large apes. Based on nine witness reports and ecological speculation, Bigfoot is believed to be anonymous. Feeding on rodents, deer, roots, isic lava, coralian, coralian berries, grasses, grasses, clams, fish, and vegetables. It may search for rodents by digging up rocks and piling them up. The Sioux and deal kill deer, split open rotting logs in search for crabs. There is no evidence that they use, tool, uh, use tools or fire. Another point of contention among researchers is whether or not Bigfoot is dangerous to people. Many cannibal giants of Native American myth are specifically main killers. Evan T. Sanderson wrote the Philotic Indian Bigfoot, said we kidnap people, human females, in some traditions, males. There are a number of people who claim to have been kidnapped by Bigfoot, most famously Albert Asterman. Otherwise, Bigfoot seemed to show curiosity, curiosity about human activity and may throw rocks at people. Several early explorers of the, explorers of the Americans Americas were put in hairy, red haired uh, uh, giants in southern North America. Out of Tres de Pitier, he put a giant hit people, a very tall people with 10 or 11 palms in height, near Texas and Mississippi in 1519. Samuel D. Champion reported in a mimic, 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 mimic legend of the Guru in 1603. Supposedly the earliest encounter between Bigfoot and the Western eyewitness may have been made by Daniel Boone in the late 18th century. According to Boone's family tradition, in the last years of his life, Boone told several people he killed a ten-foot hairy giant, which he called a Yahoo. Boone's name for the creature had been taken as a reference to Governor taken as a great reference to Gulliver's travels through the Chukariki term of the giant. Harry Dunn is Yah, Yah, hoo hoo. A number of individual Bigfoot seem to have been encountered multiple times. There's only old yellow top, an ape man distinguished by yellow mane, a patch of hair on his head, and a possible limp, who was ported from around Cobot, over Ontario, Canada, from 1906 to 1970, a period of 64 years. Female Bigfoot depicted in Patterson's grimy film have been nicknamed Patty, although there not, do not, they do not appear to be any other claimed sightings of her as an individual. Cliff Barrickerman identified ten casts of Bigfoot tracks which he believes were made by the same individual. The only animal which has been suggested a plausible mistaken identity for Bigfoot is a big fair, brown, is a brown bear, Eucharist Acarus. A black bear, Eucharist Americanus, although the upright bear could briefly be misidentified, it could briefly be misidentified. An ape, cryptologists have noted several glaring discrepancies. The hind legs of bears are short and nothing like those of an ape. They have large visible ears on the tops of their heads. Their muzzles are protruding. Their shoulders are small and sloping, not wide like those of ape or humanoid. Bears are not regarded as good sources for alleged Bigfoot tracks, as their prints look nothing like those of Bigfoot. In bears, the first toe is short and the third toe is the largest. Four prints and high prints overlap. The big toes are the main side of stride. The feet are turned inwards. In addition, the hind leg feet of bears do not close to match. Not do not come close to matching those supposed Bigfoot. Though it may have been noted that distortion from overlapping prints might bear might, might, would make bear tracks seem larger than they really are. Though hoaxes of sightings and tracks have been certainly recurred, many cryptologists reject the notion that all Bigfoot sightings or tracks could be hoaxes. Could in Lauren Common 
Most prints found in the Pacific Northwest are believed to be genuine. Particularly long strides and many tracks would be difficult for an individual to fake. And debts of some prints would require the hoaxer to set up to four hundred fifty fifty pounds of pressure in a compound soil compact soil. Tracks have often been found in remote places where hoaxers are likely have left them, and digital ridges and sweat pores identified on some tracks unlikely features for any hoaxer to add. North American ape, not to be confused with the term North American ape, which is referred to be a cryptid. American apes were apparently distinct, distinct from Bigfoot, according to George Everhart, a species of primate or ape which is independently involved in North America, is unlikely. Although a number of fossil primates are known from North America, they may they disappear from the fossil record towards the end of the Eocene, which, which, when the world cooled and the forest shrunk. The latest known North American primate was Ick Gumo Dewey Citrus Has Hala Low of the Late Ogocene Oregon and the South Dakota. Short faced bear, Dale A. Dillon, suggested a number of accounts, including a collection of supposed Bigfoot, Bigfoot sightings, especially from the eastern United States, may in fact be referred to surviving short faced bears, which he notes had limp proportions of gorilla. These Bigfoot accounts Describe much larger animals with be- gl- eyes and glow in the dark. Ground sloth. A majority of so, creature, creature zoologists theorize the same, the same Bigfoot sighting may refer to the giant ground sloths, semi boreal bear, like animals which lived in North America until 11,000 years ago. A commonly invoked species is Maga. Mega Lalo Urex Jefferson I, which is a forest dwelling browser in an erect pantograde position, posi- position which range at p- p- posture, which range as far north as Alaska and Yukon, Ice Age concentrations in the American East Florida. The Gulf Coast and the California. But the phenomenon suggested it was possibly to Grover S. Krauts in 1985. Questions later raised in 1993 Sasquatch, some Simpen- During the 1990s, paleontologist Richard Cotretti wrote to David Orion, suggesting that the American myths connected to eyesight with Bigfoot may have originated, originated from joint ground stuff from ground sloths, but he did not suggest that such an animal still survived in North America. Proponent Ben S. Rushridge explained his theory in Animals and Men in 1996, arguing a shaggy-haired ground sloth seen walking upright and might inspire thoughts of Sasquatch some frightened human they accidentally stumbled across. As present President for ground sloths being mistaken for primates. Rush cites the Brazilian map in Gorai, which frequently called the Brazilian Bigfoot, which is now more often speculated to be a ground sloth. In one mag- right, right, mag- mag- map in Gorai sighting, an animal described as a giant monkey was found to have been left clawed. A left clawed mark, some think impossible for a primate. The Marpa Gorai is said to be extremely foul smelling, and Roach discovered that approximately 440 Bigfoot sightings described as nauseating of overwhelming stench. Roach did not suggest that all or even the majority of Bigfoot sightings could be explained by ground sloths. According to him, only a small percentage of sightings, most especially those described as animals foul smelling might refer to ground sloths. Promodically, Roger Patterson described a Bigfoot to be allegedly recorded smelling like a bulk rolling in wet manure. But Patterson's grim film definitely does not depict the ground sloths. Ground sloths, such as McGregor X, Jefferson and I, 
I also been suggested as explanations for North American cryptids as such as so characterizing guppies and giant squids. Giant squirrels, sorry.